allow is a JavaScript function that learns or evaluates a string of code. It does seem pretty useful at first, but many developers consider it to be evil. But why? As we all know, everything good comes with a cost. Well, except subscribing, which is completely free and helps the channel out. In a Val's case, the costs are performance, security, and debugging. First, let's look at performance. You see, JavaScript engines such as V8 like to use a just-in-time compiler, which compiles your code before running it to improve speed. The problem with a Val is that the compiler doesn't know the value of the string until the code is run, so JavaScript has to interpret that string at runtime. This tends to be very expensive in performance, especially if the string is complex. There are also many vulnerabilities when using a val, especially if the code is given by the end user. They can quite literally crash your program, and even worse, steal or destroy your data. There are packages like safeval, which is better than a val, but it's still not recommended in production. And finally, eval code is hard to debug. We all spent hours debugging the simplest of bugs. Imagine having to debug code that's dynamically generated with eval. This can be a pain, especially when having to debug complex code that changes based on many factors. So, I'm not saying eval is bad and you should never use it. It's just that eval does more harm than good if not used correctly. There are legitimate use cases for eval, mostly in low-level interpreters and command lines. Just be extra careful when using it, and try to avoid it as much as possible, because you might regret it later on. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.